Okay, so this is the new ban list. I kind of know that this is more of a unban list than a ban list, but I don't actually know that uh, much what cards are in the list, so let's have a look. So let's have a look at the cards before we look at the skills. Okay, so tour guide, that's okay. Mellow Seek, I don't like trap decks, especially Alter Guys, but that is realistically probably going to be okay. Just going to be annoying that they can now play a little bit free traps. Sorry, Night Blast is okay. Galactic Spiral Dragon is completely fine because the skill got murdered and no one's going to play Tachyon anyway. Rhinos Buzz is long overdue. Uh, Magistus, okay, that's interesting. So, they are unbanning the Magistus stuff. Are they also unbanning the, the other guy? Yeah, okay, they're also unbanning the, the uh, main deck level 4. Okay, so now decks like BLS can now play the Magistus engine once again, and also decks like a uh, uh, Winged Dragon of Ra could play this theoretically as well, which is pretty interesting. But, um, because before then, you can't really play the engine in both, uh, BLS and also Winged Dragon of Ra. BLS because BLS is at 3 and Chaos Form is at 1, and Winged Dragon of Ra because Monster Reborn is at 1, so you can't really play the Xyz, which is the main reason why you play the engine, because you can, pop, you can pop back row. But now you can, so that's pretty nice, and also it's kinda, kinda, kinda already telegraphed through the unlimit of a condemned witch which is like basically the same as what the magistus engine would do but just with fewer uh, main deck bricks if you will but um yeah it's uh, it's pretty okay and the dd7 thomas is completely fine uh a dd is a uh, okay deck it's it's decent it's not really uh top tier but Seven Thomas Unlimited is going to be pretty good. Okay, so Rust Jewels. Okay, uh, Piercing Dragon is fine. Sports Dragon, that's fine. Yeah, dragons are not even that good anymore. With uh, now the best deck in Russia, I feel like is going to be Royal Rebels. I think it's probably going to be hit in the skill rebalancing because the skill is just insane. Just makes everything level five. It is in my opinion the best deck by far and. No other deck comes even close. You know, the two boss monsters of uh, Heavy Metal just wipes everything and it's just ridiculous. So, you know, having dragons back is pretty interesting. And also, uh, with maximum monsters, dragon decks aren't even that good anymore. And I feel like Ancient Forces is still, like, the better version of dragon decks. Which, it's, well, I mean, the, 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 the water dragon is still in the limited list, so that's fine. So yeah, I pretty like this list. This list was pretty good. Um, basically, the unlimited, especially like older guys, Starry Knight, and uh, DDs is going to be good. It's just nice to have more uh, decks in the meta. Just uh, having more variety is always good. Yeah, it's just good. Uh, and yeah, there's no side draw hits, and that's pretty. Pretty unfortunate. I don't know why they still wouldn't unlimit any of the Sidra stuff. The deck needs those cards desperately to even you know, be somewhat playable. But anyway, let's have a look at the skills. Shadol is going to have a buff. I have no idea what this skill does. I think that's like a rush drew skill. And then, yeah, they're nerfing the, the heavy metal. Let's actually have a look at the nerf first. Hellachinate Invasion, okay, that the same requirement. Make two level, base at level 4, level 3 monsters become level 5. Okay, so it's not everything now, it's now only two. Because, yeah, it, it was able to make everything level 5, now it's only two. And then two monsters on your opponent's field. Uh... Hmm, okay, so it says make face up monsters chosen become level 4, so it doesn't reduce any levels, which is good. It's a good nerf, but also means that uh, it now works against maximum monsters a lot better because they are level mostly level 10, 
and now you can just reduce them to level 4 immediately, which is nice for uh, the, the board wipe. So that's a tiny little buff, but everything else is a pretty good nerf, I feel like. And yeah, only two instead of everything is a pretty good nerf, so the board wipe doesn't wipe the board anymore. And also, uh, it flips the monsters up after you change the level. So if your opponent sets a level 5 or higher monster, it's still going to be level 5 or higher. And during this turn, you can only attack with monsters with 23 to 4,000. Okay, so you can't attack with the, the whatever the fiend is that can increase its level. So that's nice. That's, that's a pretty good hit. It's not too devastating, but it's enough to probably limit the, the power of the deck by a bit, at least. Shadow Weaving Power, okay. The skill second effect can only be used once for a jewel. If all monsters in your deck, including extra deck, are shadow monsters or spell caster monsters. Oh, okay, so you, you can now special summon other things from your main deck as long as you only play shadows or spellcasters. So you could special summon spellcasters, I don't actually know how big of a difference that would make but it's nice that they're going, giving it a bit of a loser restriction. At the beginning of a drill choose two shadow trap cards from your deck and send them, wow okay, so they just straight up gave them a, a foolish. Hmm. Interesting, and it's it's random too, so you don't get to choose, but I guess you can play around that by just including a limited amount of traps in your deck, so you are guaranteed to always send the, thing that's, the things that you want. But um, this is really good because uh, one of the traps can basically quick effect banish itself from the graveyard to flip a monster that you have. So that is basically a disruption or a way to trigger your flip effects turn one because the flip effects are really good. And stuff like the Hedgehog has a search effect, which basically gets you access to Shadow Fusion, which is really nice. And then Shuffle a Shadow card, that I don't think that matches that much. I, I think it's it's always nice to be able to shuffle back, for example, the Trap, which is nice. But uh, that isn't you know too big of a difference. The, the big difference is being able to t send two Traps to the grave, that is huge, that's actually really good. So, um, let's also have a look at the, the third one, I guess. You have a face at level 6 or higher monster. Okay, so you don't have to normal summon during the turn you use skill, which is pretty nice. And also it could be level 8 or higher. It doesn't have to be a legend monster. And you it can be all it don't have to be 21 it just needs to be 15 okay so a tiny bit of a loser restriction i don't think anyone will play the skill anyway it's not that good of a skill but yeah okay so shadol is a pretty good skill now you know i personally don't really want shadows to be too competitive because winda is always not a good card to to be playing against it's just not fun but it's nice to see Shadow Dolls are now a bit more playable, at least. I don't know if they're going to be top tier, hopefully they're not. But at least they can now compete with other decks in the meta, at least. So, yeah. So, a bit of a nitpick for the limits, especially for the cards. I want to see um, the Shunui Trap Limited, that card is still toxic, even though you can't search it. It's still annoying, so either just limit that card to one or just ban it. I mean, other stuff like uh, uh, how life barrier is limited, so there's no reason why that card couldn't be. Especially it's a continuous trap, so if you don't have an out to it, you just keep stalling. And also it can even draw you cards, which is ridiculous. And also where, where are the cyber stuff? That's just unbelievable. Where's the cyber dragon stuff? That, those really need to be unhit. But other than that, it's pretty good. I feel like you don't really need to limit anything in the current meta that much because it's currently a pretty healthy meta, all things considered. It's pretty diverse. Each deck has 
uh, you know, some kind of strengths and weaknesses that kind of there's no clear best deck. There are obviously decks that are slightly better, but it's not like those other decks can't compete. I mean, in my opinion, this best deck by far is still probably going to be uh, Red Eye Zombie. That deck still does pretty ridiculous things, but it's not like the gap between that deck and the other decks are that big of a gap anyway, so it's fine. It's probably fine if they don't do anything to those decks. At least, in my opinion, I could probably will. Probably I could uh, live with that. So yeah, end of video. Bye.